Hello friends, I'm your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl with Wellness Wednesday. Today I wanted to share with you a few different ways that you can honor the season of spring with some spring rituals. I love to actually create a little altar in my space with specific things that really align with the season of spring for me. Sometimes I'll pull an affirmation card to see what a message is, or I'll sit and I'll reflect in journaling to allow myself to really feel connected. Now, I love to utilize essential oils that make me feel more spring-like, make me feel like I'm blooming and blossoming. Florals and citruses do that for me. My go-to a lot of times is wild orange. It just helps me feel like I'm blooming, that I'm prospering in my life. I'm feeling nice, activated, and I feel in alignment. Another thing that I love to do um, is bring fresh flowers in and have them there to feel the blossoming of the spring season or do one of my favorite things. Um, and I'm going to just share with you a fake plant here to give you the image of it is actually planting the seeds of the desires that I have. And I'm going to give you an example. You actually would write your desires on a piece of paper and cut it out like a little leaf. And then with a plant that you might already have in your home or find a little plant, some of the viney plants, plants that are represented like this are really easy to either transplant or to kind of put in the soil where it won't aggravate the plant and take your actual desires. Think about what you want to manifest. Maybe you want to manifest more time for self-care, for example. Write that time for self-care as your seed and actually put the paper in the soil. If this doesn't feel in alignment, then go out to a tree that you might have in your backyard and plant these pieces of paper deeper in the soil near the roots of the tree so that it can blossom and grow and bloom into that as we're in the blooming energy of spring. This is one of my favorite rituals to do for the month of spring where I feel like I'm planting the seeds and blossoming those seeds to see them grow. It was really profound when I transplanted a little vine plant I had into another small jar, something like this, and I put the seeds in the soil and then I transplanted one leaf for each goal. And it was profound to see that plant begin to grow and grow. It gave me a visual representation of what I actually deserve to have in my life a representation of abundance and a representation of manifestation. So I definitely encourage you, if you can, grab a plant, put it in your house, or find a tree or a plant outside that represents it. It's a great ritual for spring and I have found so many benefits to this. If you have any other questions around spring rituals or different things, please feel free to let me know. One of the ways that we're coming together in sacred sisterhood this year is through deep intensive healing retreats and our sacred sisterhood group experience is exactly what we're doing. We're coming together for group retreats, doing things to honor each season, as well as receiving one-on-one -on -one work to help bust through any grief, any trauma, any stuckness that you need to really fully embody and step in to your most divine sister sacred self that you are in that community of other women, relying on other women, feeling supported by other women, and honoring and acknowledging our celebrations and feeling safe in our vulnerabilities. This experience will be going on for the entire year of 2022, and we're getting started right here in the season of spring, blossoming into your most sacred self. If this is something that you would like to explore, please feel free to just hop on my website, contact me, and we'll get on the phone for free, and I'll explore if this is a possibility. As well as, you can also comment here and say you're interested, and I'll personally reach back out to you to connect you into a phone call for the Sacred Sisterhood possibility. Happy spring, happy planting, and be well, everyone. This is Tracy with your Wellness Wednesday and honoring the season of spring. Be well.